Donovan, it's going to be quite the occasion this weekend against a Premier League outfit in Leicester City. Yeah, um, it's going to be a great opportunity for us to showcase ourselves as individuals and as a collective, a team. Um, and it's going to be a good uh, window for the club to pitch themselves against the Premier League club. So, yeah, we're looking forward to it. In front of a crowd of plus 10,000, that should be quite the occasion as well as, you know, the, the game itself. Yeah, we're, we're buzzing with the fact that it's a, s a sellout crowd. Um, I think it's the first time this season all our fans are going to be there to cheer us on and obviously a few of theirs. Um, it's going to be an atmosphere that we've not yet experienced this season, but one that we're, we're really looking forward to. And, and yeah, we, we've worked hard to get here and we want to showcase ourselves and, and do ourselves proud. It's an occasion that you as players have now got to go and embrace, isn't it? This opportunity doesn't always come around to play a Premier League side as a League Two team. So it's all about soaking up everything on the day. Yeah, 100%. Um, as you said, these opportunities are not there every season. They come around once or twice in your career and you want to make the most of it. Um, we've grafted really hard from the start of the season to get to this point. Um, our fans have been a key ingredient to that and um, pushing us on when we were down, supporting us when we was on a bad run. And this is for them as much as it is for us as individually playing. So um, we want to we want to do everyone proud. We want to basically um, it's like a thank you for for the support. It's a thank you for the the ownership. It's a, we're representing the gaffer and the coaching staff and we're representing ourselves. So we, we want to do uh, ourselves justice. Of the players that Leicester have got, you've got the likes of Jamie Vardy, Patson Dacker, James Madison, Harvey Barnes, the likes that are going to be in the attacking positions. How much are you looking forward to pitting yourself against those kind of players? Um, it's going to be a good opportunity for me to come up against, as you said, Premier League opposition. Um, I've not played against those boys before so yeah I'm excited um, and I'm gonna try and do myself justice as much as I can with the supporting act of my teammates and hopefully it pans out the way we believe it can and, and we'll all be smiling come the end of the Saturday. For to go on a run like this in the cup as well as the league I think it's just one defeat in the last 13 how proud does it make you of the group as a skipper? Extremely proud I think that is that is something that I'm over the moon with. Um, it, it, it talks to the, the, the hard work we're doing in training, um, the trust that we've built up within each other, the understanding that is coming together. Obviously, at the start of the season, it was a brand new group of boys. Um, there was a gelling period that needed to happen, um, and we had to learn fast. There was a, a sticky losing streak that we was on but now you could see us and you could see our identity you could see the belief um and where we find ourselves in the league obviously we've got a few games in hand but we, we need to keep this going and i just want the games to, to start because i feel like we've missed a few with obviously these games being called off which is frustrating it it, it hampers your momentum um but we're in a great place you now have to manage yourself though during that. You want the games to come thick and fast, but we were working it out the other day. I think from Saturday's game, it's a Saturday, Tuesday, all the way through to you know the, the middle of March now, and it's all about managing yourself right as a player, but as a group as well. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Obviously, it's not ideal to have all those games back to back um, Saturday, Tuesdays, but. Obviously, that is because of the games being called off and we just want to get them going because we'd rather have the points on the board than the games in hand. So we just need to, as you said, manage ourselves, um, understand what is required for each game because each game will be completely different and um, start building up that momentum again with the games and the positive results. On a final note for me, we mentioned the group there. Somebody came back into it yesterday. Joe Riley, he's been on a, a real tough, you know, run of luck. They couldn't find what was wrong with him. And everyone did. Everything went well, and it was so great to see him back out there yesterday with the group, wasn't it? Hundred percent. I love the boy Joseph. Um, he's somebody that will come in and add a different dynamic to this group. Um, 
It's very silky on the ball. Um, that that pivot role that Hats likes to call it, I think Joseph suits it perfectly. Um, and it was, we was all buzzing to see him on out there with us. Obviously, he's gone through a really tough ride, um, but it it shows how strong he is mentally. Um, and the boys were there to, to to push him on and encourage him, and sometimes just listen to him moaning because he likes to moan. Um, but yeah, just want to see Joe out there every day and and come and support us and help us now in the thick of it.